Hello, all of my little baby bunnies. This is Karen with Karen and Bob Gaming. <gasps> Today we're gonna be playing um, her story. Her story? Whose story, you ask? I, man, I don't fucking know. You know, there was some like beautiful uh, piano music playing when I, when I started this up, but I think I waited too long and now it's barfing. So let's wanna uh, fucking, oh, oh God, words. How do, you guys, how do I say words? Um, I like just woke up from a nap <laughs> um, and then ate something and put on makeup and now I'm doing this. So I'm super like brain no worky with the thinky think, which makes total sense for me to play a game where I have to do the thinky think. So let's fucking do it. Start. This is like ER story, Earth wrist story, Tori. Somebody's named Tori. Oh, or or the fuck is happening? Okay. Oh no, is my mouse on here? I'm sorry. That's probably horrific. Okay. Uh, so the game is basically like, as best as I can tell, this game is essentially just a whole bunch of uh, video clips that you have to watch through. Um, and you're supposed to find inconsistencies I guess in these video clips like it's just a uh, clips of a woman being interviewed and you're supposed to figure out what parts of her story are accurate or inaccurate and and go from there and figure out if like something bad happened um I don't know how this is gonna go like at all <laughs> so let's just fucking do it I like how they added the glare on this computer terminal like thank you I needed that uh so let's let's let me have let me drink some water. Hmm. Wet my whistle. So clearly the crime is murder. So we have to figure out what's going on with the murder. Um, so enter query to access archived footage. So I'm logged in as a guest. Logic database. Blah, blah, blah. Northeast. Ugh. Only 232 megabytes of local storage. Okay, so let's search. Okay, so we have four video clips. The, my guess is that um, we'll probably unlock more video clips before long. I, I do not think, I do not think that we'll only have four for the, for the time being, or for the rest of all time, is what I meant to say. Can I click out of this? What happens if I qu quit? I won't quit. Hang on. Video subtitles. Oh! Anti-glare filter. <laughs> oh yay! That's cool. Okay. I kind of love the glare. It makes it look like properly old-timey. Let's keep that there. What's this? Prehistory. Oh, it's the actual history of what I've looked for. Oh, that's smart. I'm such a dork. I have like a notebook and, and so that I can like make notes. Uh, it's her story notes. <laughs> Such an asshole. Okay, so let's actually, I guess, watch this. Oh, I can tag these. Oh, this is great. Okay. Uh, all right. Play. You think it's murder? Okay. I mean, clearly it's murder. What can I do to help? Okay. So what was important about that? You think it's murder? She looks to one person oh, over here. Clearly it's murder. What can I do to help? And then she looks at- so there's two people interviewing her. Two interviewees. Oh, interviewers, rather. Sorry. Um... Clearly it's murder. That's very weird. Okay, so this is, um, that's D-141-A. Clearly it's murder. <laughs> what a, what a thing to say. Okay. Add to session. What does that mean? Okay. I guess my research session. Hey Somni, how's it going, dude? Um, we're playing a weird little game where I have to figure out who the- what's with the murder. 
I figure out with the murder and such. Okay, so so this is these are on different days. Hang on. So this is on hang on. Fuck, this is not American uh time stamped. J June June 27th 94. This is on July 1st 94. So these are on different days. That is on July 3rd 94. Okay, so that's three different sessions. So D and now D163. I don't know. Are they all A? Okay, play. Yeah, that's me. But February, and that was months ago. What's that got to do with Simon's murder? Okay, Simon's murder. Months ago. That's me. Okay. Funky. Funky stuff. Somni, did I ask you how you were doing? I feel like I, I may not have asked you how you were doing. If I didn't, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm a big, stupid, ugly asshole. If I didn't. <laughs> I don't remember if I turned on my bot. <laughs> okay, um, add to session, I guess. <clears throat> oh, for fuck's sake, that felt great. <sighs> oh, yeah, how's that? How was that, by the way? I have not touched it at all with my hands or any other part of my body. <laughs> but how is it? How are you enjoying it? Um, I'm okay. I'm tired of shit. <laughs> Okay, this is, this is on 6.27. This one is on 7.1. Oh shit, no, 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 go away. These next ones are on the third. 7.3. Seven, whoops. 7.3. 7.3. Boop. Huh, interesting. Well, it sounds like they're giving you a lot of player choice, which is cool. Clearly it's murder. That was months ago. Yes, that's me. Simon? I guess I can search for Simon after this. So I've already searched for murder, which is where they want me to start. And then I'm going to search for Simon after this. Oh no! Oh, why are people fighting you? That sounds awful. See, that's how you can, that's how you can tell that you're, that you're a, a, a good, a good person box. <laughs> Is that you try to help people in their video games. Alright, let's watch this. I didn't murder Simon. You've got it wrong. You've got the wrong person. I didn't murder Simon. Wrong person. Okay. Is this after this one? 1126, 1205. <clears throat> okay. What's the file name on this one? B181. Okay. I didn't murder. I feel like you could just say I didn't murder and you and you'd be just fine. But no, you have to specify I didn't murder Simon. I didn't, I didn't murder him. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, um I've already added that to the session. Let me watch this one. And this is like, like 20 minutes after that other one. Oh, are these in different interrogation rooms? Room three, room three, room B. Yes, they're different rooms. Okay, hang on. This is room three, this is room B. Let's watch this. I'd like to speak to a lawyer now. 
You have no murder weapon. You have nothing. And all these stories we've been telling each other, just that. Stories. Okay. So this is the one where she asks for a lawyer. A lawyer. Jesus. Uh, no murder weapon. Ah, words, typing, fuck, Christ. Ugh, okay. Stories. Interesting. So this is D188. Uh, okay, so these are all chronological, so there's a shit ton of different clips that I need to be looking for, it sounds like. Um, cool. Cool. Um, in that case, let me look for uh, Simon. 61 entries found. Hot Christ God. That's a, that's a many. That's several. <laughs> Oof. Okay. Okay. Let me... So it's limiting me to the first five entries. So this is on July, June 18th, which is before all these other ones. Okay. Oh, this is getting crazy. Okay. D121. Oh yeah, these are way, these are way earlier. Okay. And these are in room three also. Okay. That's if I searched for murder. This is if I searched for Simon. Room three. Oh man. Am I like, am I really weird for super loving this? <laughs> I love finding things. I love discovering. D121. Okay. And this is on June 18th. Simon, Simon Smith. He works at Ernst Brothers Glass. They do windows, all kinds of glass. Simon does the more special work, mirror making, feature windows, artistic things, really beautiful things. Okay, so Simon Smith is his name. Uh, Ernst Brothers Glass. He makes beautiful things. Let me make sure I got that right. Simon. Simon Smith. He works at Ernst Brothers Glass. They do windows, all kinds of glass. Simon does the more special work. Mirror making, feature windows, artistic things. Really beautiful things. Okay. Yeah, I think I think I got that right. Mm. And it's brothers, not brothers, apostrophe, yes. Okay. I um, wonder how many I can store in each session. This one is the same day. 1918. 1917. Okay. Are these chronological? 1920, 1925. Yes, these are chronological. Okay. Um, Simon is six foot, darkish blonde hair, average build. Um, he's clean shaven. <laughs> if his beard grows, it goes ginger, so he shaves it. I mean, not that there's anything wrong with ginger hair. Uh, and bought a photo. They said a spring photo. This was taken last year on holiday in Rome. That's what I have. Okay, so I heard dark blonde hair, six foot um, tall. Simon is six foot, darkish blonde hair. Average build. Average build. Um, he's clean shaven. <laughs> if his beard grows, he shaves it. I mean, not that there's okay. anything wrong with ginger hair. Uh, I bought a photo. They said a spring photo. This was taken last year on holiday in Rome. Can I click out of this? There we go. Okay, cool. 
It'll let me click out if I don't need to watch the whole thing. Um, okay, so he's six foot, uh, dark blonde uh, hair, a ginger beard. Okay, my friend Brian keeps on uh, playing uh, Dead or Alive 5 on Steam, and it just keeps on popping up. Your friend is playing Dead or Alive 5. Uh, ginger beard. Average build. Six foot dark blonde hair, ginger beard, average build. Uh, photo. Brought a photo. Okay. And this was 121. Clip 1D121. Clip D121. Oh, these are, um... Oh, I, I know. I know you can disable it. I, I honestly like to see what people are playing. I don't mind. These are the same file name. D122. D123. AMPEG. AMPEG. Am I crazy? They're the same file name. Okay. Okay. 16 seconds long. Play. It's the Rockington Arms. The Rock. It's run by a nice couple, Peter and Susan. There's some other regulars there that Simon likes to drink with. And the barmaid they're having sometimes, Helen. Peter said Simon had been in and had a few drinks. Okay. Cool. So that's Rockington Arms. The Rock, I guess is what you can call it. Helen Simon had Yeah, that was also the 18th. Okay. Hmm. Brian, what are you doing? Dead or Alive 5, last round. How many times are you going to yes. restart it? There's an Amstrad one. No one uses it for very much. There's a printer so you can write letters on it. Simon sometimes plays games. Amstrad. And uh, Save the Princess, that kind of thing. Oh, is that like a computer? Amstrad? What the hell is that? Yes, there's an Amstrad one. No one uses it for very much. There's a printer so you can write letters on it. Simon sometimes plays games, you know, and uh, save the princess, that kind of thing. Hmm. Okay. Uh, am Amstrad. Is that something I need to like... Hang on, let me Google this because I feel like I should know what that is. CPC. Oh, it's a British electronics company. That's probably why I don't recognize it. Okay. Got it. Amstrad printer games. Climb the tower. Save the princess. There's a lot of things I'm going to be able to search on here. <laughs> this is going to be this is going to be exciting. Okay, so this one is D123 still. Okay. Yeah, so some of them are like the same file name for some reason. I'm not sure why. 618 still. These are all in room 3. Play. Simon isn't the type to run off or do anything crazy. 
someone must have done something to him, or there must have been some kind of accident. So what do we do next? Okay. So... Bah. Not the type to do crazy. <laughs> Done something to him. Accident. What do we do next? Question mark. Okay. So I've searched for Simon. His name is Simon Smith, so let's do that. Do what we find. Okay, that's just what I've already tagged. Um, okay, Ernst Brothers Glass. Can I copy this? Will it let me copy? Nope. Oh yes, it will. Nice! It's just slow as shit. Okay, so it's the same thing. Okay. Um, Simon murder. Let me do that. Simon Smith murder. Simon murder. Oh, right. Simon Smith is just that one. These two I've already looked at. Okay. Glass? That's just the clip I already <clears throat> tagged. Um, I've already searched for that. Rockington Arms? Let me search for that. That's just the one I already found. The Rock. The, the Rick. Okay, cool. That's a bunch more. Um, Alright, so when I search for The Rock... That gives me a couple more. This is in room 3. It's on 618. Okay. 42 seconds. Oh, this will have a lot of stuff in it. So, it was Friday evening. We had an argument. He left. On Saturday, he didn't come back. I waited all day. He was supposed to go help Eric out with something on the Saturday afternoon. They had a job, but he didn't show. So Eric was ringing on the phone. I checked at The Rock, that's our local. They said they'd seen him on the Friday night, but not since. He still wasn't back this morning, he just isn't like him at all. Still not back by dinner time, it's getting dark again, so I decided to come see you. His parents haven't heard anything either. Okay. So no one seen him since Friday, after their argument, he went to the rock Okay. Okay. So, um, Friday. Last scene Friday. Okay. Um, argument. Eric and the rock. Bah, the rigged the rock. <laughs> I wonder if I should be writing down the times for all of these because I just realized that the times, the timestamps might actually be important. I've been writing down the dates, but not the times, but there's so many things that happen on the same date. Shit. 
Uh, fuck, 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 fuck. Oh no. Oh no, is OBS freaking out? Is this working? Am I working? Shit. Oh no. That's not good. Okay, um... RIP. OBS. Sucks. Hang on. To restart this. I'm not live right now. There we go. Okay. I think I'm back. Okay, yeah. It looks like I might be back. Okay, yay. Uh, fuck. <laughs> what was I saying? I was saying words. I was saying things. Um... Oh, right. I was thinking I, I would probably... I might want to write down the timestamp for all these. I feel kind of like an idiot for not... Um... So this one... I just wrote down 1920. I'll start writing them down. Let me start doing that. Okay, 1920. This one, which I already wrote down, uh, was at. Oh shit. Okay, 1920 24. Gosh, I have to go that far? All right. 192056. 19, gosh, I have to like make room 56. So that clip occurred sh very shortly after this clip. Oh. It's the Rockington Arms, the rock. It's run by a nice couple, Peter and Susan. Peter and Susan? There's some other regulars there that someone likes to drink with. And the bar they're having sometimes, Helen. Peter said Simon had been in and had a few drinks. I never wrote that down. Um, okay. Peter and Susan. That's important. Oh, that's already in the session. Okay. Um, okay, so they were clarifying with her what the rock was. She clarified. Cool. This one is in room three also. It is on 625 at 1343.22. Let's see. Oh God, I don't know. I mean, I guess The Rock. It's about- You've spoken to everyone there. Uh, a week later. Someone must have seen where he went. I don't know. So many things could have gone wrong. Someone must have seen where he wants. So, so okay, so she's... She's reiterating the rock quite a bit here. Okay, someone must have seen where he went. She seems to care a lot about that. Okay, so, hmm. All right, what's this last one? That one is on the 30th, which is another five days after. That's also in room three, 6.30 at 15.42.23. So what does she have to say? No, no one has been in the last few weeks. We had a plumber come in three, four weeks ago. Someone sang with you from the rock. Yeah, she's talking about the rock quite a bit. Three to four weeks ago. Hmm. Okay. 
Okay. Oh, Christ. That felt so good. <laughs> that felt like... Oh, that felt great. Um, okay. Let me go back. Let me go back and look at all these. Because I want to make sure I actually am doing this right. So 627. This one was at... 205317 This one was on 17 Oh shit. Wait, wait, wait. 1794. Hang on, hang on, hang on. 62794 1794 Oh no, no. I'm sorry. I'm Throwing off my American versus everywhere else in the year, uh, world. 7-1. Okay, sorry. 7-1. Okay. Gosh, that's confused the shit out of me. 14-29-37. Okay. Okay. I got it. Alright, and this one's the third. 11-26-34. About this one. This one's the 30th. Oh, no, no, no. I'm looking at the wrong shit. Fuck. Uh, uh, here. <laughs> 12.05.19. Yeah, so like 40 some odd minutes after. Okay. So this one is, she talks about the glass, mm. okay, Ooh. that one's on the 18th, I have a bunch on the 18th, okay, yeah, uh, so at 191746. One of the first ones, it looks like. Yeah. But this one. Yeah, it totally is. I'm so okay with it. I love this. This is like super my jam. I love games like this. They're so fun. Um, apparently this was... Uh, this was like written by the one of the guys who worked on um, Silent Hill Shattered Memories, I guess. Like, he was one of the only, like, this was like his baby or something. I'm not sure. I only read through like the details of it very shortly before starting the stream. 191832. Yes, yeah, so these seem to be sequential. Uh, this one is at, yeah. 1925. Yeah, so far these are all sequential. Ooh. 1925-51. Okay. Is that this one? No. No one's seen him since Friday. Here. Okay. So this one happened... He went to the rock, no one's seen him since Friday. Then they clarify what the rock is. Okay. Those are all from... Okay, so those are all the ones from that day. Cool. That's everything I found about the rock. Did I already write this down? Yes. Because they overlapped. Okay. Um, so we've got a couple of names we can search for. We've got Helen. Let's look for that. Okay. We've got a Helen. Great. Um, this is also in room three. It is on 618. Mm -hmm. 
at the b b b b Okay, so 1921-14, which means it will be, it's shortly after she mentioned Helen's name. Okay, let's see. I think he spoke to Helen. She said he was upset about her argument, but I'm not sure what else he said. He likes Helen. He likes blondes. Poof. Okay, so upset about the argument. And he likes blondes. Man, that, there was some vitriol in that statement. <laughs> he likes blondes. I kind of got over, like, I kind of got over people preferring certain hair colors a while ago because. Preferences are just that, preferences, right? It doesn't necessarily mean that you have to find one thing exclusively attractive or another thing exclusively attractive. Um, like, my husband prefers brunettes. I ain't a brunette. <laughs> um, I dyed my hair brown for quite a while. Um, okay, so Helen, um, upset about argument, likes, Blondes. Sounds like I might need to search for blondes. Hang on. There. Okay. That's Helen. Let's look up Peter and Susan. Or just Peter. Nope. Okay. What about Susan? Nope. Okay. Looked up his full name, nothing there. Well, it's funny, like, I, I had preferences when I was younger, I have preferences now, um, but I don't know, the older I get, the more I'm kind of like, they're, like, that's all they are, is preferences. There's nothing, there's nothing sp special about one thing over the other, like, like, like the Viking, really likes uh women with um he likes interesting faces he likes brunettes he likes uh uh dark skin he prefers darker skin and i'm like i've at least got a vaguely interesting face i have nice eyes um but i do not have dark skin and i'm definitely uh not a brunette but after i like went back to my normal hair color, he was kind of like, you know, that's actually the hair color that suits you the best because it's your hair color and I really like it on you. So I guess keep it. <laughs> not that he could ever tell me what to do and not to do with my hair. I just know what his preferences are. Um, oh yeah, but the older I get, I, I just, I realize I don't care. Like, there are certain things I like and certain things I don't like. The, the most important piece of it is, do I find you attractive as a person? That's kind of more what it is. Like, the physicality of it matters much less to me than whether or not I actually like you as a person. Okay, uh, what else can I... Amstrad she mentions that once. No, okay. Uh, games. She says he liked he liked games. Printer. I'll search for printer since she mentioned that. Okay, games. Okay, I did find one. This is interview room B. This was on seven three at 11.39.47. 7 7-3. Is 7-3 the day where like things started going bushy? Yes. This one's after she says, I didn't murder Simon, but 
before she asks for a lawyer. Okay, let's see. Mum and Dad had never had any reason to notice. They were always busy. If Hannah was eating a lot, they didn't mind. She didn't put on any weight. That girl has a healthy appetite. Um, if they heard us talking in the attic, they just thought it was Hannah playing one of her games. And that Eve was our imaginary friend. <laughs> Once, she was already up and dressed and ready to go to school and I snuck down for a piss. Mum saw me in my underwear and she went mad. Get dressed this instant! So I ducked into our bedroom <laughs> and seconds later, out came Hannah, dressed and ready. My mum was amazed. So, a twin? Sounds like she's a twin. Let me let me watch that again. That's that's gotta. That I need I need more. Also, nice. They they're introducing music because I found out something important. I guess. Let me at least add, uh, mum and dad. Hannah. Something about someone named Eve. Wins? Question mark? All right, let me play that again. Mum and Dad had never had any reason to notice. They were always busy. If Hannah was eating a lot, they didn't mind. She didn't put on any weight. That girl has a healthy appetite. Um, if they heard us talking in the attic, they just thought it was Hannah playing one of her games. And that Eve was our imaginary friend. <laughs> Once, she was already up and dressed and ready to go to school and I snuck down for a piss. Mum saw me in my underwear and she went mad. Get dressed this instant! So I ducked into our bedroom <laughs> and seconds later out came Hannah, dressed and ready. My mum was amazed. There's something here I'm not noticing. Yeah, well of course it's British. <laughs> I just uh... There, there's something uh, funny about like the the difference between how um, like very specifically the difference between the fact that we call our mothers mom and y'all call your mothers mum, but then I say yes ma'am, um, but if you guys say the same thing, it's. Uh, it sounds like you're saying mom to me. Like, it sounds like you're saying what I would use for the word mother. I remember watching a bunch of British shows when I was younger and being super fucking confused when people would say, yes, mom. And I'm like, what are they saying? Until I actually watched it with subtitles once and realized that that's how you guys say ma'am. <laughs> also, yes, I'm thinking maybe multiple personalities as well. Um, Except that, at the very least, Hannah seems to be a separate person because she was able to go into a room, come, and Hannah came right back out again. So let's say we're gonna question multiple personalities. Oh. Um. Which multiple personalities don't, like, they're not really accept accepted as, um, like, an actual diagnosis anymore, I guess. Instead, it's just a dissociative state. I read, I read about one guy's experience with, uh, with, like, his girlfriend and how she would go into, um, yeah. Yeah, I was reading um, a guy whose girlfriend had a dissociative disorder and he was like, she was a completely different person when it happened. It was like the scariest thing I'd ever seen. She didn't recognize me at all. Super weird. It, like the situation sounded really weird and confusing. So, interesting. 
Yeah, y'all's y'all's language practices are weird and confusing to me. <laughs> I don't I don't really understand them. <laughs> That's fine. Um, okay, so yeah, look at this look at this fucking mess of notes that I've taken already. <laughs> ah, delightful. Okay. So let me go, let me actually go in order with what I was searching for anyway. So uh, computer, printer, plays games. Let me, let me search for computer and see if I come up with anything. Um, I don't think I did that yet. Nope. Accident. We do have an accident. Let's see. This is in interview room B. It is on 7-3 at... 11 Okay. Um, when I was eight, mother died. She slipped down the stairs. It was an accident. I had read a diary at that point, and I knew she wasn't my real mother. So I burned the diary that day, and I left. Walked out, and across the street. Was she adopted? Okay, this is getting very weird now. Fell down the stairs, it was an accident. She died at age when she was eight. Um, diary, not real mother. That's really weird, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually add to that. Um, Adopted? Question mark? Bing, 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 bing. Okay. So, I, I haven't searched for Eric yet, who was, uh, she say about that? Hang on, the, the, the rock. Look, uh, this, this one. So, it was Friday evening. We had, had an, an argument. argument. He left. He left. On Saturday, he didn't come back. I waited all day. He was supposed to go help Eric out with something on the Saturday afternoon. Okay, so somebody sh he works with, I think. Okay. Um... Oh, there's quite a few. 14 entries found for Eric. Holy shit. All right, Eric. Eric has lots of entries. He's apparently an important bubble. You know what? This. Okay. Uh, this is interview room three. This was on 618 and it's at 191944. So, 618. So, right before she talks about how he likes blondes. He was wearing um, a shirt, with a blue turtleneck shirt and jeans. He has a watch, it's a really nice one. That was a gift from his boss, Eric. Mm, he had his coat. A long grey duffel coat, black pants in there. Uh, he would have taken that with him, it's not in the house. A grey duffel coat? I don't know. What does a duffel coat look like? Hang on. Hang on. I'm learning things. I'm learning things while I play this game. A duffel coat. I know what a duffel bag is. The fuck is a duffel coat?
a duffel coat. Is a coat made uh, made from duffel, a coarse, thick woolen material. Okay. It sounds like it's a more British thing than an us thing. <laughs> yes. Okay. Authentic British men's and women's cut duffel coats. <laughs> I'm learning so much about British people. Uh, okay, hang on. I missed something at the end he here. He was wearing um, um, here? Had his coat, a long red duffel coat, there. black pants there. Uh, he would have taken that with him. It's not in the house. Okay, so it's just all the clothes he was wearing. Um, so, blue turtleneck. Jeans. A watch. A nice watch. She said it was a nice watch. A gray duffel. She spelled it this way. Coat. Like Paddington Bear. Okay. Let's do that. Um, Alright. What's this one? This is also in room 3, 6, 18. At 19, 20. 3.02. A few minutes after that last one. Play. Yes, there's a car that we share of Cavalier and a van he uses for work. It's owned by Eric, but we look after it. Both okay. of them are there now, parked on the street. I'm not sure about the keys for the van. I can look for you when I get back. Fuck. stop. And get this working properly. Yeah? Yeah! Okay, cool. Jesus Christ, what a nightmare. I just did like a full restart. And yes, I agree. Twitch does have that lovely feature. Okay, hopefully it saved all my progress up to that point. So let me, let me continue. Yes, it did. Cool. Um, so this one was keys, the car, the van, right? Yeah. Okay. So let me, let me, let me do that. Huh. Keys. Oh no. Um, car, which was a cavalier. There's a van. There's keys. Let me play it again because I sort of forgot. Yes, there's a car that we share of Cavalier mm -hmm. and a van he uses for work. It's owned by Eric, but we look after it. Okay. Both of them are there now, parked on the street. I'm not sure about the keys for the van. I can look for you when I get back. Is it important that Eric owns the van? Um, Eric owns the van. I'll just write it down. Um, they're both parked on the street. Oop. I'll add that, I guess. Add to session. Okay. Um, we got two more to get through for Eric. Oh, man. Oh. I've got, like, this glass of mead in front of me, and I'm wondering at which point I should start drinking it. Because I'm trying to be good and finish this glass of water. So that I can stay nice and hydrated. Mm. Okay. Boop. So how's your life been lately, Domini? Um, you seem to be focusing a lot on streaming, like, Fallout lately, which I'm super down with. Fallout's great. You plan on making it, like, through the entire franchise? Is that your ultimate goal? So this is room three. Six, eighteen. 19, 24, 25. This is right after the last one. Yes, that would be in his wallet. It's a visa, a silver one. 
He doesn't like to spend money he doesn't have, so he usually pays with cash, but Eric convinced him to get one. Okay. That could be important. You can't seem to not play other games. Oh my gosh, you, you understand. You understand the, the, the difficulty. <laughs> this, is like every, this is like every streamer's um, problem, is we're all gamers, and so we love a lot of different games, but we can't pick which ones to play. <laughs> I actually started, um, do you know how to like set categories for your games in, in Steam? Because I started setting categories for like stuff that I actually do want to stream versus shit I would play on my own time. Okay, wallet, silver, visa, uh, but it usually uses And then one more. This was a, a week later, so that's in room three still. Um, Six twenty-five at thirteen thirty-five. Oops, fifty. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> I'm such a, <laughs> I'm. Okay, I'm one of those people. Hang on, I'll show you. I'll show you what kind of person I am. Give me a hot second. Give me one fucking hot second. This is my planner. Okay. This is where I write down everything that I plan to do at any point i i will legitimately like here let me show you i am such an organized piece of shit yeah i've got like here's like my month i've written down every i've written down every doctor's appointment every like get together with friends every every all of that um today saturday okay so today uh, I wrote down, this is ridiculous, um, I'm off, so I don't have to work. Uh, I, I wrote down bath, so I could take a bath, that's something I do every Saturday, so that I can relax. So bath. I wrote down dishes and laundry, so I write down my chores, so I remember to do them. <laughs> Uh, edit any thumbnails or video overlays, which is why I have this nice new overlay. Um, record or stream, uh, figure out schedule for, for streaming, and then I have a friend's birthday party. So, uh, party 8 p.m. <laughs> and then like, even this thing, look at this shit. I go and get coffee every Sunday at the same place, every single Sunday. Sunday off coffee. <laughs> I'm like, I am ridiculous. <laughs> but I'm like this with everything. I'm such a list maker. I, I need it to stay like focused and know what exactly it is I'm actually doing every day. Cause if I don't, I'm just a fucking nightmare. I'm, I'm, ridiculous and I won't get anything done. <laughs> Which is also also partially why I'm writing all of this shit down for this game. Okay. Let's keep let's keep doing this thing. Let's keep doing the thing. <laughs> um okay. This one did I ever write down the timestamp? I did. Yes. Okay. Uh, Eric was like an uncle to him. They were pretty close. They spend a lot of time with each other, especially when they have to go to conferences. Have you met his wife, Diane? Okay, so Diane. Spelled slightly differently than my mom's name. Eric conferences and Eric's wife, Diane. Did I, did I do that right? Yes. Okay. Eric? 
The Rock, we've already looked up The Rock. There was a plumber from The Rock. Is there anything else about the plumber? Nope, just the one. Okay. Oh yeah, like my husband, the Viking, he he can't stand how organized I am. It it actually stresses him out how organized I have to be to stay sane. He's like, I can't if there's important stuff for me to do, I'll just do it. I don't need to write it down. And I was like, and I'm like, I, I have, I have to, I can't not, I won't do it otherwise. <laughs> Take a break and get away. Let's go upstate. Okay, Helen. He spoke to Helen. That's right. She gets all shitty about the fact that he likes blondes. So she mentions Helen twice. I've already watched that. So let's look up blondes. Let's see how many times she talks. About wow. Six entries where she mentions blondes. She doesn't, she doesn't like the fact that he likes blondes. Fuck. Oh, man. This one is, I'm gonna have to get, oh, get a new page soon. <laughs> on the, the, this is room three on the 30th, June, 15, is that 15? 1545, 12 seconds. Could the hairs have come from somewhere else? I mean, could they... We have a lot of dolls in the attic. There's a Rapunzel doll with long blonde hair. Could they have come from there? So they found blonde hairs. She... I'm fairly certain that this is going in a direction, okay? And let me see if you agree with me. Um, it seems it seems a lot like uh, even if she didn't kill her husband, uh, she wanted him dead. <laughs> so there's that. Let me move this a little closer. Um, she probably wanted him dead. Um, so at the very least, she's not sad that he's dead, and she probably wanted to make sure something happened to that blonde girl at the bar. So if she did kill her husband, she also killed Ellen. So Helen is probably also missing. That's my speculation right now. Okay. Oop. okay so dolls in attic. Rap Rapunzel? How do you spell Rapunzel? How did she? S how does it spelled? Could the hairs have come from somewhere? There's a Rapunzel doll with long Rapunzel. Could they have come from there? With an A. Okay. <laughs> cool. Uh. Excuse me. Okay. There's a couple more. She doesn't seem nice. No. Okay, let's, this is continued on the next page. Continued, blondes. Take a break and get away. Let's go upstate where we can stay. If you take your time. 7-1 at 1428. 43. What are we, we going to learn? What are we going to learn? This other person doesn't exist. I don't know what the blonde wig is, but it could be anything. Have you looked at the cat flap? Okay. 
blonde wig. This other person doesn't exist. Blonde wig, but it could mean anything. Have you looked at the cat flap? Uh, okay. If we do want to go with the multiple personality theory, she might put on a blonde wig whenever she is the other person. Cat. Cat flap. Boop. Why is she playing guitar? That's a weird, that's a weird choice of things to do. 7 1 1433. So that's shortly after she asks about the cat flap. Fuck. You want me to play something? <laughs> I'm not the world's greatest guitar player. Okay? Yeah, me neither. But we need tuning. About a traditional ballad. It should be right up your street. There were two sisters came walking by the sea. Achievement unlocked, a traditional ballad. Um, okay, so if we want to take that as a, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Not an allegory, not a metaphor. Um, no, it, it is a metaphor. I'm sorry. Well, no. Fuck, allegory is probably right. Um, as an allegory for what's going on right now, she either has... She either has or had a sister, which I, I still can't quite figure out, because I don't know if she was like twins with somebody or, um, uh, either way, she, she definitely is obsessed with the fact that this guy liked blonde hair, so she probably, yeah, she did something to that girl. Okay. Guitar. Blonde hair. Sisters. Traditional. Traditional. Ballad. A ballad. Um. Blonde wig or Rapunzel? No, nah, let me look. Okay, so blonde. He likes blondes. Okay. Hannah. Let's look up Hannah. 
Because I don't know who the fuck this is. 18 entries found for Hannah. Fuck. All right, we've got... Um, Room three, boop. This is on 18. So the first meeting, I guess. 19, 17, 24. My name is Hannah. H-A-N-N-A-H. Her name is it's Hannah. Hannah. It reads the same backwards as forwards. It doesn't work if you mirror it though. It's not quite symmetrical, but well. I mean, you get the idea. Sorry. Hannah Smith, I live at 31 Gladstone Street. Okay, Hannah Smith. That's helpful. So now I wanna go back. Sure, I'll write down that it's a palindrome. A uh, palindrome, sorry. Forgot how to spell. Um, and she lives on Glad Gladstone? Yeah, Gladstone, but Gladstone Street. Where's the one where she, I searched for games. It's one of, Fourteenth one. Look. Mum and Dad had never had any reason to notice. They were always busy. If Hannah was eating a lot, they didn't mind. Okay. She didn't put on any weight. That girl has a healthy appetite. Um, if they heard us talking in the attic, they just thought it was Hannah playing one of her games. And that Eve was our imaginary friend. <laughs> Once, she was already up and dressed and ready to go to school and I snuck down for a piss. Mum saw me in my underwear, she went mad. Get dressed this instant. So I ducked into our bedroom <laughs> and seconds later, out came Hannah, dressed and ready. My mum was amazed. Okay, they are twins. It's not multiple personalities. We're looking at, we're looking at twins talking here, except that, okay, Hannah, <sighs> okay, Hannah Smith married to Simon Smith, who's the dead one. Um, <clears throat> she was adopted okay she was adopted by this couple which is why she says that she wasn't my real mother not my real mother yes yes okay because um she's wearing the same thing in both of these This isn't Hannah. This is Eve? They're wearing the same thing. So the other girl, okay, so Eve's mother died at eight. Not her real mother, burned the diary. So all of these interviews on the third of July, I think, are not the murderer. This is so strange. I 
I didn't murder Simon, you've got the wrong person. I'd like to speak to a lawyer. That's why she's saying it. It's because she is the wrong person. They're twins. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, interesting. Okay. All right, after I'm done searching for Hannah, I'm gonna search Eve. Because this, this seems important. This seems real important. I don't know which one this is. Okay. So this one's in room three on the 30th. 1553 11. I should probably pay attention to the clothes they're wearing. Two. She was alone. Hannah, 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 what are you doing talking about Eve? Poor Simon. I think this is not Hannah. I think she's talking. Okay. Talking about Eve. Hannah. Or Simon. Lie detector test. Ooh, interesting. Interview room B. Reese. Oh no, I'm sorry. Not 3773, for Christ's sake. 112701. Yes, my name is Hannah Smith. Oh, shit. Sorry. Okay. Let's see. Hannah wrong. Whoops. Damn it. There we go. <laughs> Guess that's kind of all I have. Hmm. Oh. Across the road, where my parents first lived there, was a midwife called Florence. When Hannah was born, I was born at the same time. The midwife was there to help. I'd been throttled by the cord, probably wrapped around my neck by Hannah. The midwife told my mother I was dead. But I wasn't. Okay. She wrote all this stuff in a diary. Amazing what people will admit to on paper. Okay, so Florence, the midwife, raised her. Holy shit. Okay, this is fucked up. <laughs> um, I forgot to write down everything about this. Uh, seven, three. Eleven, 
29, 13. Okay, so Hannah, twin, midwife, Lawrence, diary. Okay, that, that definitely answers some of it. recognized me from the window. She told me to come inside and she hit me. They had made the attic into a place where Hannah could play. It was a dollhouse. She hit me up there. No one else ever went into the attic. It was her place. Okay. Wow, so she ended up living there. That's weird. Okay, so attic, uh, dollhouse, Hannah and twins. But we're still not really sure. I think her name is Eve. I'm just gonna start putting that Eve question mark. Yeah. Okay, 18 entries found. Oh, is it? Shit. Hang on. Let me refresh. Okay, I can watch my stream. It looks like. Are you having trouble? Let me know if there's any problems then, because I'm not sure. I don't know. Now I'm, now I'm nervous. <laughs> oh, that's fucked. Bruh. Okay, um... I have this one, which is from room three. It's on 6.30 at 15.50. Oh, that's weird. I wonder, yeah, anyways, murderers. I wonder if Twitch needs to turn it off and then turn it back on again. <laughs> All right, let's see what we've got. Well, my friend Eve. I mean, she was a friend from when I was a kid. And she was always more popular with the boys. So and these, these are, this is yeah. Hannah. We really hate her sometimes. Ooh, so Eve might have actually killed him. because she's angry about everything that Hannah got that she didn't. Ooh, that's interesting. So th these are definitely Hannah. Cool, okay, Hannah, um, Eve. Popular. You're gonna be popular. You're 
gonna be popular with boys. once and I held Eve's head underwater. There was no one else around. It was at the far end of the beach. And I held her head under and I kept it under. Wow. And for a moment, I just wanted to kill her and watch her drown. So... But that was it. It was just a moment. Wow. We made up afterwards. It was a love hate relationship. So, the girl who sings the song, is that. Is that Eve or Hannah? Because I don't know. That might be Eve. Oh, this is so weird. This is starting to get so fucking weird. Beach, drown. Cause I was on seven one. Seven one. That's me from a few months ago. I don't have that many from the seven one date. So far, I've only got like three. Ooh, interesting. Okay, so let's see. Um, is the same day, same room, six thirty. I'm glad I wrote down all the dates and times in the rooms because I'm getting the feeling that those are important. A police station. Yeah, when I was young. We ran away on my birthday. Bob Dylan was playing in London and we thought we could break into his tour bus and have him take us with him. The taxi driver we paid to drop us off. I mean, we'd saved money, pinched a bit here and there to pay for the fare. He was suspicious because we were so young, so he told the police. Hmm. So they came and picked us up and took me back to Portsmouth. My mum picked me up from the station. But I blamed everything on my friend Eve. So my parents let me off. Hmm. I don't know if Bob Dylan's important here, but I'll write that down. London, Portsmouth, well, London, Jesus Christ. Got how to do words with the typey type. Portsmouth. Christ, Portsmouth. Hannah, what are you doing talking about Eve? So this one is Hannah. This is definitely Hannah. We know this is Hannah. Hannah, 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 what are you doing talking about Eve? This is Eve. So Hannah's a little bit more... Hannah seems to be a little bit more like, uh, or, or less put together, like her hair is all foppish and a little bit, and Eve is really like, really put together. Hello Dalton, how are you doing? Welcome to my mystery solving stream. We're solving mysteries. I'm taking notes about about this lady 
who may have done a bad thing. Okay, so this one is interview room B on 7-3 at 11-28-34. Okay, let's play. My mother called me Eve. Okay, yeah, we definitely know this is Eve then. Cool. Mother called me Eve. Great. So we don't have Eve's last name, is the main problem. What else can we look for? <clears throat> diary? Let me look up diary. <coughs> Excuse me. Ooh, five whole entries found. Cool beans. All right, diary. And most of... Two, three of these are new. That's great. This is from 618. That one... Have I determined who that is yet? Ellen. That... Might be Hannah. I'm not sure, but it might be. Okay, room three. Uh, 618, 1925, 25. No, he doesn't keep a diary. That's my thing. I've kept one, well, as long as I can remember, since I was a girl. It helps make sense of my day. And when you're forced to put something into words, it just gives you perspective. Everyone's on the same page. I think that's Hannah. That definitely seems like Hannah. Okay. So Simon doesn't keep a diary. Hannah does. And this is Eve. Fuck. I'm figuring it out, y'all. This is interview room B. Oh, this is so fun. I'm like... I'm legitimately having such a good time discovering, like, what's going on in this fucked up situation. Florence was a warm, kind person. But she was broken, I guess. When I found her diary, I also found a biscuit tin with other stuff in it. All the papers, letters, that kind of thing. Her story was in there. I never really spoke to her about it. I was far too young to really understand. I guess I just put it together later, once I was older. She had loved children, planned to have a large family, but her husband died in the war. And that was back when you married for life. She never felt like she could marry again. Isn't that strange? She was a widow from her twenties. But, I mean, I guess it was different then. You know, you married for life and she felt she could never marry again. I guess it was harder, a war widow. One of the dead. I don't know, maybe there was more to it than that. I don't really know. Okay. Interesting. So that's Florence. Bah, Florence. Um, letters. Her story. Diary. Loved children. Husband died. And just because it seemed important to honor the dead. There. And then one more. Okay. Just became our way of life. 
and we would swap places and take it in turns to do things. And we were very careful. Whoever had been out that day would come back and write a detailed diary so that we were on the same page. Mm. We had a list of rules that said what we could and couldn't do in any given situation. It was exhaustive. We lived a second life through those rules. Rules for things that could only ever happen inside our imaginations. We would consider all the permutations of future events and agree rules to walk our way through them. Including this one, maybe? That's fucked up. Okay. A detailed diary. And rules. Okay, interesting. So... Mother died at eight. There's diary. She's not my real mother. I know her name, so I guess I could look that up. Um, clothes. Five entries found. Because she describes what Simon was wearing. So I figured I'd look it up. That doesn't seem to be any of these, which is interesting. So, this is Hannah, and these are Eve. I don't know about this one. Six twenty-seven at twenty-one and eleven. Then will the police let me back in the house? And they let me take a bag of clothes with me, but... Hmm. Okay, so is that right after? 627? 618? No. About a week later. When will the police let me back in the house? Okay, not sure who this is. I think we've only had one clip from her before. Um, when will the police let me back? into the house, question mark. Okay. All right, we know this is Hannah. Uh, it's room three, 630. 15, yeah, 47, 48. Look, on his clothes, that would make sense. He made it by hand. I mean, he brushes the silver onto the glass. That's not how they make mirrors these days. I mean, he made the mirror and he gave it to me. So silver on his clothes, I guess? I think that's what she's trying to say. Um, so silver on clothes, silver, silver mirror. But this is definitely Eve. This is seven three. Oop. And seven. Hannah was so smitten with Simon. She started getting jealous, didn't want to share. Even the first date, we went to see Tom Cruise at the old Odeon. We both went, kept changing places in the toilet. Mm. 
We only had the one best dress, so we had to keep swapping clothes. Must have thought we had terrible bladder problems. The next date, it was my turn. Um, at the end, I let him kiss me. But that was it. We didn't want another car on our hands, and the Ouija board had said to hold back. After that, it was Hannah's turn, and she slept with him. Broke the rules. Deliberately broke the rules. She wanted to be the first to sleep with him. <laughs> I mean, that's when she got pregnant. From that one time. Hmm. So both of them tried dating him at first. I, my guess is that they um, probably stopped that, but let's see. Hannah with Simon broke the rules, slept with Simon, got pregnant. Okay, and something about Carl and a Ouija board? Which is weird. I'm not sure what that means. Let's do that, I guess. What, what is she doing? She looks like she's trying to fuck somebody with her hand. <laughs> oh, Lord. All right. Um, 12.03.25. Play. Her story is that she'd waited for him to come back. She put on my wig, some of my clothes, pretended to be me. They talked. She'd enjoyed being me. He said he wanted to be with me. Then he took out a present, another mirror, just like the one he'd given her earlier. <laughs> that unique present. She went crazy, smashed the mirror, they argued, screamed, he hit her. So she grabbed a piece of the mirror and just swung it round. She cut his throat clean open. She only meant to scare him off. That doesn't sound real to me. I think I need to write that again. Or watch that again, rather. Jesus. Her story is that she'd waited for him to come back. She put on my wig, some of my clothes, pretended to be me. They talked. She'd enjoyed being me. He said he wanted to be with me. Then he took out a present, another mirror, just like the one he'd given her earlier. So Simon knew about the two of them. Simon knew about the two of them. Maybe. Eve certainly seems like the more, um, cold of the two. So it can be hard to tell if she's lying, um, or if she's just being plain spoken. Hmm. Okay. So Hannah, this is definitely Eve. Um, Hannah. Pretends to be Eve. Uh, lies. Um, mirror sliced his throat. 
her story, notice she used those words again, uh, eaves, wig, and clothes. Last one with her, seven three, and this is shortly after that story she just told. Twenty one, seven three, seven twelve o five. So this is twelve o four. This is this is the clip right before she asks for her lawyer. It happened very quickly. We hardly had to talk to each other. We agreed almost silently. The baby was what mattered. We'd help each other. We cleaned up. We bagged up the broken mirror, her clothes. They're gone. We took him down to the cellar. We knew I, we had an alibi and we wanted the body to be found later. We wanted to have suspicion on us so we could then disprove it rather than have it longer. Better to keep the body in the house than risk being seen with it. The watch, that was my touch to make sure the alibi stuck. The watch? Oh, what the fuck? They've mentioned the watch twice now. Um, hang on, the watch. Uh, wearing a blue turtleneck. That was on 618? That was my touch. This is so confusing. Okay, so the baby was what mattered. I don't know if she's still pregnant then. We can't see below, we can't see below her chest. Uh, Simon in the cellar. The watch. And then I'd like to speak to a lawyer. You have no murder weapon. What else have I not searched for? I searched for diary. I searched for uh, clothes. That's what I just did. The Cavalier. Let's search for car. Yeah. Okay, we've got quite a few for car. Whew. Boy. These are from room three on six, 27. We still haven't figured out who who the woman in red is, I don't think. Five. So this is pretty late at night. We had a lot of clips from this day. We have not. That's probably why. Okay. I wasn't in the house all of Friday night. After the argument, after Simon left, I left too. I was upset and I wanted to get away. So I took the car. Okay, pretty straightforward. So, um, not at house, uh, Friday night. We'll tag it as argument and then took the car. She took the car, the Cavalier, I'm guessing. Okay. Boop. Uh, 
This piano music is like way too nice for all this shit that I'm watching. <laughs> like super fucked up shit. 627. 20, 56, 50. A good 40 minutes after that first one. Okay. So then got in the car and I drove. And just kept driving north. Just kept going, just wanted to get as far away as I could. When I finally stopped, I was all the way up in Glasgow. I was so tired. Just I'm not asleep. sure. Yeah, I'm not really sure what happens once we figure it out. Okay, drove car north. Glasgow. And sleep. Can I can I open this? Oh I can't oh I totally can. <laughs> I didn't know I could open this. Really, read me. Freedom of information form to get you guests access. Transferred the videos of the original tapes in 1999. They got mothballed, no one's touched them since. Figured it would be enough, take your time. Am I like a reporter or some shit? I have a clock. Interesting. One for the mu for the mums. Strategy game. Uh, <laughs> cracks with glass. <laughs> what the fuck? Is a mirror game? Oh, that's cute. Okay. I had no idea I could do that. <laughs> that's really goofy. Um, okay. So focused on like solving the the world's problems. Six twenty. Seven. This is immediately after the last one, pretty much. Mm. I left the next day, Saturday. I slept for a few hours in the car. And when I woke up, I came straight back. Uh, Simon wasn't returning my calls and I wanted to try and make up. I got back to the house and Simon wasn't there. And I... Is there a bin? So that's probably Hannah. Barf. <laughs> I know, they keep saying the baby's the important thing. Did she, like, get married so quickly that, like, she wasn't quite pregnant enough to look pregnant? Is that... That part seems weird. Because how could they continue to trade places if she didn't look pregnant? I have no idea. I pulled over and slept in the car. This was just by the side of the road. I was exhausted. Okay. So... Slept on the side of the road. Because she was exhausted. Um, and that was 20... 20, 58, 50. Okay, so that's right after she barfed. <laughs> well, she recovered quick. Okay. All the entries found are What if I searched for Cav uh, uh Cav Lear? Just the one that I typed in. Okay, Van. Just the one that I typed in. Keys? Ooh, seven entries. Keys. Okay. Twenty one oh eight 
8.45. So this is almost an hour before uh, this last clip that we just watched. Hi! Welcome home! You're welcome. I'm streaming. <coughs> If you want to. Totally. How was your day? Long. But it started being long at like 10 to 9. Yeah. I was like, I just gave up at that point. <laughs> yeah. I was like, at least I'm only here for eight hours. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh. Okay. So this one, yeah, this one's like almost an hour before the last clip we watched. Four seconds long. Cool. Yes. I always pull it shut and then lock the bigger lock with the key. Pull it shut, lock the bigger lock with the key. Okay. So they're asking if she, um, she closed the door. Okay. Uh, I guess. Did she lock the door? Question mark. But this one. This is 627.53 immediately after that last one. Um, no, no, I don't think it was. I turned the key, but it was already unlocked. Okay. Door already unlocked. Y'all. I'm pretty sure she's lying. Well, she might be lying. I don't know, Eve might be the bitch here. <laughs> Door already unlocked. You know what? It would be fascinating to watch you play this because you're good at reading people. I basically have to like research a bunch of different files. Hello. Um, of uh, this lady being interviewed. Turns out it's two ladies, which you don't figure out until she's later. Lying. Okay. <laughs> and you have to watch a bunch of clips and like take notes and figure out connections. Like half of these, I'm not sure which woman it is. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, it does. Ugh. I'm pretty sure this is Hannah. <laughs> is he? He might be good at reading actors. I mean, he's, he's just good at telling when people are bad people. Door already unlocked. A uh, somniloquy. My British friend. Okay, so this this is definitely Hannah. Yes, I remember that. Is she like a nurse? It looks like she's wearing scrubs. So are you like cop? I might be a uh, I might be a journalist researching an old crime. Does this? These clips are from 1994, but it looks like the date on the computer I'm using is now. You don't even know what you're Nope. I got no clue. I'm just researching. I was given guest access. That's all I know. 4606. Okay. I parked up in the street. It was busy, so I had to park down the end of the road. I walked up, knocked on the door, no answer. I took my keys out of my bag and unlocked the door. The main lock was unlocked. You can tell because the key doesn't turn when you try to turn it to the left. I walked in. Simon's coat wasn't on the peg. I couldn't see his shoes in the shoe rack. I shouted out. Um, I walked straight into the kitchen because he usually sits in there to have a cup of tea and read his paper. 
but he wasn't there. I touched the kettle, it was cold. I looked quickly in the living room, nothing. So I walked upstairs to the bedroom and he wasn't there. I didn't search for him because it was pretty clear he wasn't there. I had a shower, the phone rang whilst I was in the shower, I didn't answer it, I think it was Eric. Then I was just exhausted, so I lay down on the bed and I fell asleep, though I didn't mean to. I woke up a couple of hours later and I was surprised to see no one in the bed next to me. And then I remembered where I was and what had happened. That's when Eric called again, this time I spoke to him. Then I called Doug and Eleanor. Who is Doug and Eleanor? I decided to come and see you. Eleanor? Okay, so she's consistent with uh, the door being unlocked. Okay, so uh, parked at end, ah, end of road, door unlocked, Simon missing, took a nap, question mark, Doug, Eleanor, Eleanor. Um, and that's it. Okay. Oh, Lord. This is a few minutes after that last clip. Fifteen, fifty-five, thirty. They'd gone to bed feeling ill, thinking it was flu or something. The neighbour called me, I had to use my key to let them in. We found them dead in their bed. And they'd been there for days, no one had noticed. Oh, uh, what the fuck? Just awful. It was so soon after my miscarriage, the worst year of my life, I'd been so happy to get married, and after that it was just like, oh, fuck. Oh, okay. In that, in that one, yeah. Wait, so who died? What was that all about? They'd gone to bed feeling ill, thinking it was flu or something. The neighbor called me, I had to use my key to let them in. We found them dead in their bed. The neighbor called me and we had and to use my key to let them in. days, no one had noticed. Who? awful. Okay, um, so miscarriage, which is spelled like something like that, maybe? I don't remember how that's spelled. Maybe that's it. Um, Jesus Christ. Uh, ill, dead in bed. <laughs> dead for days! Can I do that with a Z? Dead for days? <laughs> I think the thing that confuses me about that is that they had to let them in? Um, who are they talking about? A neighbor? A neighbor? Like, like a good neighbor? State Farm is there? That's really confusing. Seven entries found for keys. Um, can I search for keys? Can I search for miscarriage? Is that how it's spelled? That's not how it's spelled. <laughs> is that how it's spelled? That is how it's spelled. She's talked about it a lot. Cool. Ooh, is that a different day? I don't know if I've seen any of these. 625? I've seen one of these. Do we know who this is? I am. Um, I think that's Hannah. Okay. It's interview room three. So 
625, um, 1341, 12. No. I lost the baby. Okay. I had a miscarriage at eight months. Oh, that's late. We carried on living at Simon's parents until that was only a few months after. lived at Simon's parents. Yes. That's what we're trying to figure out. Simon is, was killed. Are you sure you haven't seen any with the other woman yet? Really? Carriage eight months, lived at Simon's parents. Sure. Six twenty-five. Thirteen forty-one twenty-eight. So this is right after. Does she continue her thought? Then my parents died. Her parents died. That's who it was. It was the worst year of my life. Okay. A miscarriage and then my parents. Got it. It was here. Parents dead. Let me go back to that one. That's um six thirty, this one. Parents <laughs> dead. <laughs> okay, so this is five days after that. Um, fifteen fifty five fifty five. Yeah. I mean, I was infertile. Thought I was. They told me I was infertile after the miscarriage because of complications. Okay, hang on. What is she responding to? Yeah. I mean, I was infertile. Thought, Thought I, I was. was. They told me I was infertile after the miscarriage because of complications. So is she pregnant again? Is that the question? Infertile? How girl get pregnant? Pregnant again? Question mark? I like how as time goes on, this is getting less organized and more ridiculous when I put in my notes. <laughs> okay, here we go. So this is Eve. We know that for sure. This is interview room B. Ah, excuse me. Several days after that one. 11.50 even. So the... When she asks for a lawyer, it's at 12.05. So this is 15 minutes before. Hannah had a miscarriage. This was late in the pregnancy and it left her infertile. Felt like the universe had corrected its course. We were aligned again. But Hannah and Simon were still living with his parents. They were married. Simon had a job at the Glaciers now. Eric had given him a full-time position after he left school. And then... Hmm. So she was definitely unhappy and fertile. She's feeling left out. I can't 
can't tell if she would want to kill. Oh, would she want to kill him, or would Hannah want to kill him? Eve seems to hate Hannah. Like, legitimately seems to hate Hannah. Makes me wonder how they were ever friends. Um, let me look up. I already looked up diary, right? So I looked up miscarriage since I had stuff about babies. Uh, mirror? Carl. The name Carl was thrown out randomly. Ooh, five entries. Who the hell is Carl? Okay, room three. This is on 7-1. Who I don't think I know who this is. 7-1. You check the cat flap, blonde wig. She's the one who sang the song. I think this is Eve. Okay. Which would make a little bit more sense because that was a fucked up song. <laughs> was he my first? No need to be so coy. <laughs> no, he wasn't my first. That would have been Carl. He was a local boy in a band. He was a bit of a shit. But he was sexy. <sighs> we were 15. Okay. So this might be Eve, question mark. Carl. Boyfriend. Virginity. Okay. 14, 24, 41, this is right after. No, um, I was 15, Carl was older. 17, I think. I was really into him, regardless of how he actually behaved. Lots of drunken teenage sex. We did it in a church once, it's stupid. So he got tired of us and we split up after about six months. It was sad, but those early experiences, they help you realize who's really important to you, you know? Family. I, th I do think that's you. Okay. And they, and they both. They both dated him. Okay, so Eve and Hannah. Man, they really did the switcheroo their whole lives, didn't they? Carl, Eve, and Hannah. His ex, aged 15, 17, sex. already in the session. Okay. We have two more. Three, seven, one, 14, 25, 13. Oop. Family. So, Carl fucked off, and then there were other boys here and there, and then Simon. Okay, so Carl, other boys, but boys, Simon. One more. This is on interview room B on 73, 1145, 11. So, when did Carl first get mentioned? Smitten with Simon. That's why she mentioned Carl. Okay, because she was smitten with Simon. Differences? She's a better driver than me. Hmm? Huh? She passed the test for us. I tried to take it and nearly crashed the car. <laughs> Learned that you can't rely on confidence to get you through everything. Hmm. She is the shy one. She was especially shy around boys. If Hannah liked a boy, I would have to pursue him. 
It was that way with Carl. I met him first. She had such a crush. I let him take my virginity after a night that his band had played at. It got difficult. When I was with Carl, we would have sex, but Hannah couldn't, couldn't let him see she was a virgin. She had lots of excuses. Hmm. After a while, we decided that I should take Hannah's virginity. It's not that different to a bruise, pulling a tooth, oh. a graze. We used a hairbrush. Oh. After that, we took him in turns, though. I was always the one who seduced the boys. Oh. Until Simon. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. Anna. Better driver. Eve lost virginity first. No. <laughs> No, that's not what she said. She's saying... <laughs> I don't know if you're legitimately asking me or not. She's saying she used a hairbrush on Hannah so that she would quote-unquote lose her virginity. She's just saying she broke her hymen with a hairbrush. <laughs> Jesus. It's really fucked up. Um... why I went, oh, because I, I, it didn't sound like at all pleasant. Um, <laughs> okay, so those were all the entries with Carl. So I noticed um, they're talking about virginity a lot. Ouija. Ouija board. Let's see if there's anything else. There is another one. Cool. Also with Eve. <coughs> Forty-three, forty-one. Okay, this is thirty-five seconds long. When beautiful people died, it was felt like it was a sign. You remember Princess Grace, Grace Kelly? She died in a car crash the year before we met Simon. We used a Ouija board to speak to her, and that gave us the power to find him. That's what we thought then. Hmm. That people who die tragically leave some kind of magic behind. We used to share dreams. We used to wake up and write them down in our diaries immediately and compare them. Okay, that's interesting. So, uh, let's see. Princess Grace. Grace Kelly and shared dreams. Blah! Shared dreams. Okay. Um, so Ouija board. So if I searched for baby, let me search for her story and see if we, we do get one extra. Okay, interesting. That one's on the 27th. Thirty-nine seconds long. It's okay. Rapunzel. See you later. Thanks for joining. The story starts when she's born. Mother Gothel, a witch, takes Rapunzel from her parents and keeps her locked up in this tower. Rapunzel gets pregnant by the prince, and Mother Gothel is furious. So. She cuts off her hair and throws it. Actually, her hair's already short here, so that's already happened. So she throws her into the wilderness and Rapunzel is reunited with the prince who's blind. But she kills him with her tears and so it's a happy ending. Is that too much? 
Achievement unlocked. It's a happy ending. I don't know if I understand that. It's Rapunzel. The story starts when she's born. Mother Gothel, a witch, takes Rapunzel from her parents and keeps her locked up in this town. Is that too much? Did they just ask her to tell the story? I guess so. Rapunzel, Mother Gothel. I guess that's it. <laughs> oh my god, excuse me. Ugh. Okay. So, uh, mirror, mirror, wig. Oh, the wig. What if I searched for wig? Ooh, there's a bunch of stuff. Ooh, there's a bunch of stuff. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and end because I am tired and hungry. But next time when I actually play this, I search for wigs. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yay, thanks for anybody who might still be here for watching, and anybody on YouTube that might have watched. Hooray! Goodbye! <laughs> I'm gonna eat su- I'm gonna eat things, and- and rest my voice, and, uh, eat stuff, because I'm hungry. Okay, yay! I love you all, bye! Bye! Bye!